potentially over 250 billion LUNC and over 150 million USTC will be burned from the TFL shuttle bridge. In this video, guys, I'll take you through the TFL update on shuttle bridge. This is huge news, guys. If supply is going down, it's very bullish for the project. And more importantly, guys, I'll talk about technical analysis and price. Could this huge burns start the next bull cycle, bull cycle for LUNC? There's other things to talk about as well, guys. So I'll update you on the Juris Protocol rebrand proposal. Looks like it will be passing. I'll be sharing with I'll be sharing with you some alpha on Juris as well. In my previous video, guys, I said I was doing a giveaway on Terra Casino. So if you want that giveaway, guys, comment below your Terra or Lunk addresses below. I'll pick a winner in my next video. You'll have $100 credits to use and play on the Terra Casino website. Terra Casino is one of the biggest on-chain Terra uh, Lunk burners, guys. And we want to support more projects that are burning LUNC on-chain. These burns are amazing from TFL, from Binance. But we want to be burning on-chain as well. If you really want LUNC, go back to the glory days and, you know, the price of LUNC go up. So a comment below your Lunk and Terra addresses. I'll talk about it at the end of the video as well, but I'll pick a winner in my next video. I discussed the TFO uh, shuttle bridge updates. Terex classic meme coins. If you want to show your meme coins, show your projects, comment below. Uh, there's also a little update on the repeg uh, uh, update. There's not too much. But if you want any projects or anything to be shielded, um, comment below i'll discuss it in my weekly lunc videos i want these videos to be a community a video as well so if there's anything that you want to talk about just dm me comment on on those uh, weekly posts and i'll include them in the videos so guys let's get started uh, with the video so the big news is the new shuttle bridge interface to redeem wrapped assets is now open reopening the bridge allows users to send lunc and ustc from these change uh, from these chains the bridge will remain open for 30 days they expect it to be around the 30th of october so assets that are left uh, on here that will be burnt and um, again uh, correct me if i'm wrong this is my understanding i don't know exactly how much will be left i'm assuming 250 or but i'd expect at least over 200 and then over maybe 100 150 million ustc so that is really bullish guys and this is on top of the binance burn we've also seen there's been another burn i'm assuming is for big wallets moving and with these burns and shuttle bridges the, there's going to be increase in L LUNC chain on chain and that will mean more burns. So Binance will likely burn more um, because of more activity on Binance and there will be likely more on-chain burns as well. So this is really bullish for LUNC. And guys, I'm not like a supporter of the 1.2%, 1.5% burns. But in these instances, you think, you know what? Having that, those burns would actually really help to get more LUNC burned. But I know I've discussed it before that also impacts a building and you know protocols like Jewish Protocol, unfortunately, are not really going to work if you've um if you've uh, got really huge burn taxes so uh, going back to the news uh, so round 30 they're not exactly sure when it will happen uh, opening the bridge gives you the opportunity to redeem your assets and use them as you wish please ensure you redeem your assets as soon as possible to avoid any issues and this is the important bit after the bridge closes any users still in the contracts will be burnt and the bridge will be permanently closed so any assets that are left here will be burnt which is bullish because supply going down is bullish for the project and if bitcoin starts pumping as well i mean bitcoin is trying to get back above 60k i think if it gets back above 62k it should pump and it could be a really good timing so we've got the big binance burn every month we've got these burns coming up and this is on top of the TFL uh, LFG burns. So I made a video last or a couple of weeks ago now. Go watch that video. There will be other TFL uh, uh, um, and LFG burns potentially up to one, 19 billion and 2.1 billion USDC, which is a huge, huge amount. I will go into the dollar values in that video. So go watch that. And that's on top of that. So there's lots of burns. And guys, I'm really excited. You've got some on-chain pro uh, projects, uh, Terraport, Juris, Garuda, and there's lots of others. Apologies if I've missed them. I'm talking about the ones that I'm close to but this could be a great time for finally luna classic to start pumping so fingers crossed guys these burns some of the on-chain hype can start the luns and one great thing i'd love to see is uh, if you could have something to do with the repeg uh, if you guys remember my last week video i focused on the bounty prop by nb unfortunately there hasn't been that much update i sent out some dms if you listen to mine and ll69 spaces we do a weekly space 
we had a spaces with NB. We talked about uh, uh, the repack stuff, and one of the things I said I was going to reach out to some development teams. Um, unfortunately, there's not been too much update, which is a bit annoying because we want to see that's our unique selling point right if USTC does well uh, Luna Classic will probably do well but the problem we have here is guys that this is not a simple thing for uh, you know repegging USTC is a huge endeavor you need a, a solid team of people even me guys like I, it's easy to make these videos and show the hard thing is actually getting a team together working together getting the funding um, and having the technical people around you to do something about the repeg because it's not a simple thing so it's going to be really difficult I hope we find uh, this magic people like they're really helpful this, this godsend people that can work together have the best interest of luna classic and work on the USTC. but it is difficult you know someone like wrapped a head wrapped uh, rap d day a duncan or someone like redline they're great people smart people but you need a big team working together and they have other stuff that they do in their personal lives as well you need like full-time team working on it because it's a huge amount of work but it, it was a good initiative if anything happens i'll update you in these videos um and if there's any other repick plans or repick proposals, reach out to me. I'm happy to give you the airtime. But like I said, it's easy to show uh, and make these videos. The harder thing is actually working and, and making the change. So that's the second thing to talk about after the big news of the uh, the shuttle bridge burns. Hopefully we see lots of shuttle bridge burns. And I also mentioned about the repick stuff. Uh, the next big thing I want to talk about is Jewish Protocol rebrand. So if you guys have been following me, we had an issue. Uh, this was launched as a Rakoff meme coin. Uh, then we had the real Judge Rakoff, which is crazy to think, come and attack us. They said that, you know, we're using his name. He doesn't want us to use his name. So we had to completely rebrand. And to, to do this rebrand, guys, we had to uh, make few changes. So I discussed it in a lot of detail in the previous video about the proposal going up, but the proposal is looking good. Some people have voted no, which is a shame because, you know, we need builders on chain. We, we can't have... Um, uh, we can't just be shilling and burning because we're not going to go anywhere. We want to have actual builders and something like a fork of Anchor Protocol or uh, lending and borrowing protocol could be that key use case that takes Luna Classic back to its glory days. So... Happy to see, still see a lot of the uh, uh, validators supporting this prop. Looks like it's going to pass. So fingers crossed it passes. It doesn't really impact anything on chain. You just have to do a contract extension again you can read this here uh, technical background of how the change will work um a frag wrote this really good article i, I went through it uh, in in the previous video of how this will be executed during the using the migration handler will be executed during the migration that sets the on-chain name and ticker of the contracts to jurist protocol so that's a big news i really hope it passes if you're a bullish lunar classic yeah, uh, or, or you want to see more development on chain this is the the the, the type of stuff you want to get behind so fingers crossed that passes and we can share with you more updates. LL69 did DM me some more updates to share. Uh, let me share that with you as well. So the, the websites uh, and the corporate identity meeting is happening. Uh, that's going to be really interesting, guys. You'll see like who the teams are, what our goals and vision is. He's already leaked some. Um, I've retweeted that as well. He's already leaked some alpha of what the website and stuff are going to look at. You can go check out, out uh, the Juris Protocol twitter page or, or his twitter page you'll see what is happening he's also hired a leading designer uh, for including the logo and making it look professional one of the things i really liked about anchor protocol was how the what how professional it looked if you tried to use crypto stuff it was always very difficult guys it wasn't easy to use a crypto protocol it wasn't very user friendly so i'm happy that you know the the, the anchor protocols ethos is going to live through jewish protocol and we're going to hopefully have a very good interface that people want to use and finally guys i want to show the um rakoff validator again so uh, rakoff got an airdrop coming we have been delayed slightly so apologies for that we were planning q3 but the airdrop is going to be q4 because of the rebrand we've been busy dealing with all, some of the legal stuff as well so uh, we've not managed to do the airdrop in q3 but it will happen in q4 and you want to be supporting validators that support the project i don't want to bad mouth and fight and get political with with validator voting power and, and staking but you can do it yourself look at how your validators are voting are they listening to you are they voting and actually supporting the chain and i'm not just going to shoot uh, jewish protocol there's other validators that support the chain and you want to be supporting validators uh, staking with validators that you know reflect 
what you want so so you know so i'd say for the airdrop anyway and you know for building on luna classic it would really help us if you stake with us uh, we are one of the, the top ones already uh, it'd be great to have some more voting power and more importantly you get jury's airdrop and that airdrop could potentially be something in the future if we succeed and it's a big if i'll be working and the lunatic i mean we've already seen how hard he is working uh, if we can deliver anything close to what we want to this little airdrop could be worth a big chunk in the future so if you haven't already staked some with uh with the jury's uh, jury's validator go stake some with jury's validator and i wanted to end on this note as well so it's a really good post from dj he's one of the key he's not a member of the jury's protocol but he's a big part of it he's you know been working and, and shilling jewish protocol quite a lot and he just talks about the dedication of of um of the team and where's my shout out dj i'm the i'm the paid shill for paid shill uh for jurors i usually have a plan and, and i try to record these videos in one go and try to keep it natural but yeah, i'll just tweet it loudly paid shill for uh, uh jurors is not included uh where is trader rock <laughs> just as a joke but no i just wanted to uh, uh, shout out dj as well he's been sharing some good alpha go check him out and it's a good uh, update on the founders of how hard a uh, frag lunatic and the team are working to to deliver this and if if it can be delivered guys you already know that jewish protocol will also fill in the community pools as well which is great to see i talked about terra casino so i've i've made a demo in my previous video guys where i actually played some of my own money i think i won once and lost twice so you can check that video out of how to connect your wallet and how to actually play it's a really nice casino guys and like i said i was surprised how professional it looks and we want to be supporting more on-chain building so uh, if you want to win the hundred dollars trading credits comment below uh, and i'll use a, a random uh, comment picker and hopefully we have a winner so comment below your address uh link address below and we'll pick a winner in our next video for terra casino and then finally guys i want to talk about some meme coins so in my post that i made about uh this making this video lots of people talked about b boys or boys so i want to quickly touch on them as well so they've recently launched it's already gone up quite a lot it's already gone up 600 percent and but market cap is so low uh, meme coins could work well i will try to invite them i've not really looked into any hype or alpha coming but the market cap is so low we could easily do like a little bit more pump the liquidity is less as well so be careful of how much you're aping with but it looks like a decent project and um, they seems to be hustling on twitter so i'll try to reach out to them maybe bring them up on spaces or you guys can comment below on my twitter with some alpha and i'll share it with you so check out boys club guys i really want to be supporting projects uh, check out Terra as well guys they're um the, the liquid staking is coming i think a uh, space monkey or rexy said it. i'll try to get some more updates from them that could potentially have a little breakout on this uh, as well so this is terra and lunk so let, let's look at terra uh terra with so this is with terra and lunk this is terra with usd uh, usd so yeah let's see um uh, if terra can get a pump as well like i said we want to be supporting all the developers as well and go check out other ones as well so you've got tokemon you've got cookie uh, grdx there's lots of other projects that are working and these projects doesn't mean uh, we don't support luna classic these projects are built on top of luna classic so if they succeed you luna classic succeeds if we are trading these on chain that means luna classic is being burned so i'm not i'm surprised to see other uh, people not supporting uh, these projects as much i want to be supporting these projects more and more and obviously i'll talk more about jurors because i'm part of the team and i want to see jurors do well but there's other projects as well that we want to support we are all in this together if one of them succeeds we all succeed i think that covers it pretty much let's just go back to make sure i've covered everything so i talked about uh, the, the tfl shuttle bridge which was the main one i talked about some meme coins the terra casino giveaway update you guys updated you guys on the jurors and also a little update well not such an update on the on the USTC repeg. In terms of BTC, guys, we want to see um, BTC break back above these levels. I've got these levels drawn. You can see the support is holding. If we start breaking below here, guys, unfortunately, it's not going to be that great for Luna Classic either. And we'll probably see probably go a lot lower. Um, I'll probably start buying around um, just below 50k again. And I'd expect hopefully these levels to hold because um, when we get a big sell off, we'll at least get a bounce. I'm not sure if, if we'll get a bottom, but we'll get a big bounce and you can easily trade those even like i don't trade as actively as i used to but that is a trade i look to take because that will give us a nice bounce plays like this where we almost saw like 30 50 percent pumps but on the bullish side we want to see these levels break so if we can start breaking back above 
um 60k 62k i'd expect the price to come back up and i think this time we'll actually break up we've come once twice three four five times i think if we come back up to these levels we will see that big breakout towards potentially that sort of a uh, uh, 100k level but if we start breaking below here you'll have to be a little bit cautious so that's a quick update on on bitcoin but the reason why i talked about bitcoin is if bitcoin starts breaking those levels it will it will be bullish for luna classic we've seen USTC did almost like a pump and dump we've seen these lots of times we've not seen anything sustainable which is what what we want to see hopefully with what is happening with the burns binance burns happening in few days potentially l2s like jewish protocol doing well and also the tfl lfg burns on top of the shuttle bridge burns which i talked about a couple of weeks ago we could start seeing some activity in the luna classic price in terms of technical analysis i did buy some luna classic here uh, i did another sort of this um lower high uh, drawings that i've put in this little marker for a lower high let's see if we get a lower high here i haven't bought more luna classic the two levels i bought was here and here then my next big trade in luna classic will be back above this 0 0.0001 level i think we can get a really nice 50 60 percent pump potentially even higher or if bitcoin sells off i'd look to buy um luna classic here let me know what you guys think do you think these burns will have a big impact and we'll see luna classic pump let me know in the comment section below so thank you very much for watching this video i make this weekly guys i really appreciate if you could like subscribe comment below your link and terror addresses for the terror casino giveaway if there's any other projects you want me to show let me know make sure you like subscribe check out my twitter spaces as well and i'll see you guys next week with another link video thank you very much